I am so excited for you to take a peek inside of Mexico today. Let's start with the riddle. There was a man who goes into a bar in Mexico City. He asked the bartender for a glass of water. Instead, the bartender hold up a gun. The man says, thank you and leave. Why? Can you solve it? Watch the video to find out the answer. We will also look at Mexican geography, history, economy, climate, government, politics, people and culture in this video. If I have to choose one word to describe Mexico, it would be diverse. Because in Mexico, variety is the game. They have variety of landscape, variety of climate, cultures, plants, animals. Everything is a buffet. Mexico is also a country with dual identity. It has Latin American history and culture, but physically and economically, it's tied to northern part of North America. It sure make an interesting country to explore. But before we go further, please subscribe, like the video, comment, let us know what you think about this video. You know, we are making this for you and we want to make it better. So, please let us know, subscribe, like, so you make YouTube algorithm extra happy and make me happy too. Mexico got its name from Mexica people who lived in the Aztec period. Official name of Mexico is, however, United Mexican States. Mexico is located in North America, sharing a northern border with the United States and southern borders with Guatemala and Belize. Pacific Ocean lies to the west and Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea to the east. Mexico's capital is Mexico City, which is also the oldest city in the Americas founded in 1325 and served as a capital of Aztec Empire. Mexico City is the second most populous city after Japan with more than 20 million people calling the metropolis their home. This is the Mexican flag. The green represent independence, white represent purity of the Catholic faith, and the red represent Spaniard who joined the quest for independence and the blood shed by the national heroes. This is Mexico's coat of arm. It symbolizes the Aztec heritage. According to the legend, God had advised the Aztec that the place where they should establish their city was to be identified when they saw an eagle perched on a prickly pear tree devouring a serpent. They saw this eagle on a marsh lake that is now the main plaza in Mexico City. Coat of arm depict the legend. Just to get us excited, let's look at some interesting facts about Mexico. Fact number one, Mexico City is sinking at the rate of about 10 inches per year. The city pumps water from the lake that support the city. In fact, it sunk so much so that it lost its title as the seventh highest city in the world. Now, it is eighth highest city. It is lost to Yemen. Fact number two, Mexican children don't get Christmas gift. Don't be sad, they get them on January 6th, not December 25th. Rather than celebrating the birth of Jesus, Mexicans celebrate that they, three wise men, came to see Jesus and gave gift. Everyone get gift when Jesus get gift. Fact number three. In most local food market, you can buy insects to eat with dinner or prepare and eat with dinner. Most people find it weird, but some adventurous foodies 
Love it. Fact number four. Mexico is located in the volcanic belt. They have many volcanoes. They have the world's smallest volcano, Guacamate. This is only 43 feet tall. It is not really a mountain. It's a small hill and it's cute, but still a volcano. World's smallest volcano. Fact number five. This is the last one. Mexico gave us so many different food. I am most thankful for chocolate and Caesar salad. Now that we know a little bit about Mexico, let's look at Mexican geography. Mexico is the 13th largest country in the world with almost 2 million square kilometers of diverse land, including high mountains, deep canyon, sweeping desert, dense rainforest, fertile plains, and nearly 10,000 kilometers of coastline, dotted with so many beautiful beaches on both sides in the west coast and the east coast. As I mentioned in the intro, Mexico has a variety of landscape. You can divide these regions into 11 different area based on their unique geography. Mexico has two peninsula, Baja California Peninsula with a lot of deserts and mountains and Yucatan Peninsula with the rainforest and beautiful sandy beaches. It has three mountain region, Sierra Madre Occidental, Sierra Madre Oriental and Sierra Madre del Sur. Two plateaus, Northern Plateau is used mainly for agriculture and Southern Plateau. Chiapas Highlands is a lower mountain. This makes the borders with Guatemala. Two beautiful coast in the West Pacific and in the East Atlantic or Gulf Coast. And the volcanic belt run from coast to coast almost middle of Mexico. One of Mexico's prominent geographical feature is the world longest peninsula a 1,247 kilometer long Baja California Peninsula, which lies between the Pacific Ocean and the Gulf of California. The Baja California Peninsula include a series of mountain ranges called Peninsula Range. It also home to some of the driest deserts. Another famous peninsula in the east Projecting into the Caribbean like an end of a fish hook is the Yucatan Peninsula, bursting with rainforest, Mayan ruin, and white powdered beaches. There are two main mountain ranges in Mexico. Sierra Madre Occidental in the west is an extension of Sierra Nevada. Sierra Madre Oriental is in the east which is an extension of Rocky Mountain, both merge into the volcanically active central region. Copper Canyon in the Mexico is about seven times larger than Grand Canyon. However, Grand Canyon is a single canyon. Copper Canyon is a series of 20 canyons carved by six different rivers. Beside being the biggest, Copper Canyon also deepest. 1,462 feet deeper than the Grand Canyon at the deepest point. Mexico sits on or near junctions of four tectonic plate. This makes the country a hub of seismic activity. These tectonic plate junctions are the reason for Mexico's mountains and plateaus. However, this makes Mexico one of the most seismically active region on the planet. Mexico is home to range of volcanoes, some of which are active. From coast to coast, almost in the middle of Mexico, there is a volcanic belt, and that's where most of the volcano resides. Mexico's natural resources are vast. It has large deposits of silver, copper, gold, and zinc. Mexico has also a sizable supply of salt, fluoride, iron, 
magnesium, sulfur, phosphate, tungsten and gypsum. Natural gas and petroleum also make the list of Mexico's natural resource. Highest point in Mexico is Pico de Orizaba. It's an inactive volcano. It rises 5,636 meters or 18,491 feet above sea level in the eastern end of Trans-Mexican Volcano Belt. So remember the fact that we looked at smallest volcano, 43 feet. This is North America's highest volcano at 18,491. Can you imagine the difference? Lowest point in Mexico is Lagana Salada. It's a vast dry lake, almost 10 meters below sea level in the Sonora Desert in Baja, California. Rio Grande, known in Mexico as Rio Brava, is the longest river in Mexico with over 2,000 kilometers. This river is not entirely within Mexican border. If you are looking for the river within the Mexican border, which would be River Nazas, this is 1,081 kilometers long. The largest lake in Mexico is Lake Chapala, which covers 1,100 square kilometers. The largest desert, not only in Mexico, but in North America is Chicoan Desert. It covers almost 37,000 square kilometers. Let's look at a very short version of Mexican history. Mexico was the home to many great civilizations. Mexico's history spans more than 10,000 years. Based on the archaeological finding, humans have been living in Mexico for at least 10,000 years. They learn to grow squash, tomatoes and beans as they learn to cultivate their food over thousands of years. Their lifestyles changed from hunting and gathering to making home and living in one place and growing their food. For about 3000 years before the European arrived, Olmec, the Maya, the Zapotec and the Aztec civilization flourished in the land where it is Mexico now. The Olmec people were Mexico's first complex society, emerging from the southeastern part of the country about 3,200 years ago in 1200 BC. About 2,100 years ago, the great Mayans came to power and they built large temples and pyramids. The great ancient cities were built back then and they continued to be in the power until about 1750 years ago. The Aztecs came to power about 700 years ago in 1325. They were the last great civilization of Mexico. Spanish arrived in 1521. The Aztecs people got sick from smallpox and other diseases that the Spanish brought in with them. The Spaniard also seized and destroyed many Aztec cities. In 1521, Spanish conquered Aztec and Mexico became under Spanish control and Mexico was ruled by Spain for 300 years until 1821. In the early 1800, Local Mexican revolted against Spanish rule. Father Miguel Costilla declared Mexico's independence with his famous cry of Viva Mexico in 1821. Mexico defeated Spain and gained full independence. Now that we covered Mexican history, let's look at Mexican people and their culture. Mexico is 10 most populous country in the world with 129 million people. About 62% of them are mestizo, Amerindian Spanish mix. 
21 percentage of them are Amerindians and 10 percentage of them are white. All these various group of people create a unique, rich, colorful and vibrant cultures. Mexican cultures and traditions are influenced by its ancient citizens such as Aztecs and Mayas as well as European colonization. Mexican culture is unique and probably one of the most fascinating in the world. The tradition and custom of Mexican people are varied and diverse. They are proud of their native heritage and each region has its own cultural identity. Doesn't matter which part of the Mexico you go, family is one of the most important element in Mexican society. Mexicans are very conscious of their responsibility to their immediate family and extended family. Much of the Mexican culture revolves around religion. Over 90% of Mexicans identify themselves as Catholic, but they also include many pre-Hispanic Mayan elements as part of their faith. Overwhelming majority Almost 93% of Mexicans speak Spanish. About 6% speak Spanish and their indigenous language. Music and dance features heavily in Mexican culture. Mariachi music dates back to the 18th century and is well known and loved by Mexicans. Folk dancing is also common throughout Mexico. Mexican hat dance is one of the iconic dancers of Mexico. Mexican cuisine varies widely between regions as each town has its own culinary tradition. Tortillas and other food made from corn are common everywhere. Our peppers, tomatoes, beans and rice are staple. Mexico is known for its tequila made from agava cacti. Soda is a very popular drink in Mexico as well. Fashion in Mexico is influenced by international trends. So the typical urban Mexican dress is similar to the people from Europe or United States. Traditional Mexican clothes for women include sleeveless tunic-like dress. For men, it's a blanket cape. Did you figure out the riddle? If not, the man had a hiccup. So he won a glass of water to get rid of it. But scaring works too. So the bartender took the gun. Did you get it? Festivals and fiestas are extremely important in Mexican and celebrated even in the smallest of the villages. Every community has its own patron saint and is honored with the celebration every year. Three major holidays are Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, celebrated on December 12th, is a major religious celebration. The Day of the Dead is celebrated on November 2nd, is a day set aside to remember and honor those who have died. Independence Day is celebrated on September 16th, a national holiday to celebrate Mexico's liberation from Spain. Time for Mexican government and politics. Mexico is a democratic country made up of 31 states and a federal district. Mexico has three branches of government similar to many other democratic countries. Executive branch led by president carries out the law. Legislative led by Congress makes the law and judicial branch led by Supreme Court, evaluate the laws. Federal Constitution relegate several powers to the 31 state and federal district, including the ability to raise taxes, and more states have its own legislative and judicial branches as well. At a granular level, local government is administrated by municipalities. There are over 2,000 municipalities in Mexico. One political party, PRI, Institutional Revolutionary Party, has dominated all level of government in the 20th century and corruption was at worst. Since 2000, 
this has been changing. Head of the executive division is the president of the United Mexican State, who is the head of the government as well as commander in chief of the Mexican military forces. Let's look at Mexican economy. Mexico's $2.7 trillion economy is 11th largest economy in the world based on purchasing power parity, PPP. Per capita income is roughly one third of the US at $21,000. According to Goldman and Sachs, by 2050, Mexico will have the fifth largest economy in the world. Economy has become increasingly oriented toward manufacturing since the North American Free Trade Agreement, NAFTA, in 1994, and it's continued to grow with the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement. According to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, Mexico has the fourth highest degree of economic disparity between the extremely poor and extremely rich. This is a significant improvement over the past 10 years. Still, income distribution remains highly unequal. Overall poverty rate in Mexico is over 40%, even though the unemployment rate is less than 4%. Service industry, notably financial services, and tourism contributed 63% of its economy. Manufacturing contributed 33%. Agriculture only contributed 4% of the economy. After the NAFTA agreement between US, Canada and Mexico, manufacturing increased. Now Mexico produces more automobile parts than any other North American country. Electronic industry has grown immensely in the past decade. Currently, Mexico is the sixth largest electronic producer in the world. Mexico export manufactured goods, including electronics, vehicles and vehicle parts, oil and oil product, plastic, fruits, vegetables, coffee, cotton, silver, and 80% of its export goes to United States of America. Mexico import metal working machines, steel mill product, agricultural machineries, electronic equipment, automobile parts for assembly and repair, aircraft, aircraft parts, plastic, natural gas, and oil product. 50% of its import comes from United States and 17% come from China. Mexico's currency is peso. Mexican economy can be classified as free market developing economy based on supply and demand. Let's look at the climate of Mexico. Tropic of Cancer cuts through middle of Mexico. This is important because Mexico's climate is different on either side of the line. To the north, the climate is temperate and relatively dry. Temperatures can reach extreme heat in the summer, but can get much colder in the winter. But south of the Tropic of Cancer, Mexico is more tropical with consistent temperature throughout the year and more rainfall. Mexican summer is also the rainy season, run from June to October, although the rain rarely lasts more than few hours and typically arrives in the late afternoon. Some part of Mexico, especially the coastal area, can experience some hurricane. Mexico City has a year-around temperature of about high 80s, while the coast usually stays in the mid-90s. Nighttime temperature is slightly lower, but it rarely breaks below 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow! That's a lot. You did great. You learned a lot. So we looked at geography, history, economy, people and culture, government and politics, climate, what else? Oh, flags and where the country is and general facts. So which information 
you like the best. Why do you want to know more about Mexico? Please let us know in the comment. And don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you and see you with another new video.